Hey guys, I have to share my love for this Sunco's bread shop manager, which is also known as Pantenjo. It's a piece of bread who teaches Sumikos on making bread. It was actually an assault baguette that got stale, wearing a regular white chef hat and a red cap with a little smile and brown eyes. This bread shop manager is always chatty and cheerful, put on a very serious face when making bread, and the secret to avoid its body getting dry and cracked is always takes a nice milk bath. And today, Pandenjo want to show you the tastiness of the chocolate bread stick from its bakery. If you love Sumiko Gurashi, I'm sure you definitely want to try. And these bread sticks are going to be so kawaii and delicious. So let's get started. To make the chocolate filling, sift the flour and cocoa powder in a large bowl. This step is important. You don't want any lumps in your filling. Set aside. Then, in a non-stick pan, mix the rest of the ingredients. Cook over medium height until all the chocolate and butter melted. When the mixture starts to boil, lower the heat to the lowest setting. Pour in the flour mixture. Mix well until it creates a smooth shiny chocolate dough. The filling is done. Let it cool down a bit for about 10 minutes. And then knead it for a few seconds. Divide it into 9 equal pieces, about 20 grams each. Shape each pieces into a sausage, about 7 cm long. Don't wait the mixture cools completely. It will be crumbly and difficult to form. Cover the filling with a crank wrap and press it until ready to use it. For the bread dough, in a medium bowl, sift in the flour along with baking powder and baking soda. Set aside. And then, in another bowl, mix the butter and sugar until pale and fluffy. Pour in the eggs. Egg whites and the corn syrup. Mix well. Lastly, add in the flour mixture, alternating with the evaporated milk in 3 batches. Mix until just combined. Do not overmix. It will make the breadstick tough. This dough should be sticky at first. Place the dough onto a clean wrap. Flatten it. Let the dough chill in the freezer for about half hour, so it will be less sticky and easier to manage. Now, I'll divide the dough into each portions. 9 big portions for the body, about 30 grams each. 9 small portions for the cap, about 5 grams each. And divide and color the rest dough for each details. It's time to serve our cute bread manager. So take one portion of the big dough, roll it into an oval shape, place it in between a crisp of paper. Using rolling pin, gently flatten the dough into a 9cm long and 7cm wide oval shape. And then, place one portion of the filling to the center of the dough. Gently wrap the dough around the filling. Make sure that you seal the joint properly. And then put it on a table. Using your palm, roll the filter to smoothen the surface. You also can use a scraper to help straighten the sides of the dough. Let them chill in the freezer for about 30 minutes so it sets hard a bit. And then we can start adding the details. Using some orange dough to create its cape. Yellow dough for the bread slashes. Some plain dough for its legs and hands. A tiny brown dog for its little eyes and smile. 
And don't forget, place it's cool, Chef Head. After finish with all the details, now we are going to bake them. Don't forget to cover the pan to prevent from browning on top. You won't like ten bread shop manager. If you have deep frosting pan on hand, that will be great. I don't have it, so I just create my own with this aluminium foil. Our bread shop manager is ready after 20 minutes in the oven. Place the pan onto a cooling rack and let them cool completely in the pan. And for the royal icing, simply combine all the ingredients. Mix well. And then, using small spatula, apply some royal icing around the head. Let the icing set hard completely. Alright guys, our bread shop manager is finished now. They look so kawaii. Can you tell the difference? They taste like tasty milk bread with a thick yummy chocolate filling inside just like the perfect bread steak and they also cute too so adorable and I'm sure if you pack them as a gift for someone everyone will love them don't forget to subscribe to my channel at Bebum Kitchen for more cute treats and best recipes I hope you will enjoy this video and I'll see you next time bye everyone